Hey all, it's Charlie Allred with The Healthy Diabetic. I hope you are doing awesome. Today I'm gonna to talk all about where to prick your finger. So um, if you've been on our page before and joined our support group, we have really easy recipes, tips, tricks, hacks, all kinds of things. We have two books on Amazon. One is Blood Sugar Hacks and the other is the One Day Challenge. So if you are looking to reset your lifestyle, One Day Challenge is all for you. But again, today I am here just to talk about pricking your fingers. So um, here is my little pricker. Now I know when I first became diabetic, nobody told me anything. Say, prick your finger, get some blood, you know, put it in your strip and see how you're doing. Okay, great. Now, how do I do this, right? So um, of course there's little numbers on here. You can see this. Right now mine's on three. And it depends on you and how hard you wanna push on your finger what number you're gonna be on so this is trial and error you know this I'm assuming if you're a new diabetic you don't know this but if you aren't you probably know this now I was talking to my dad as a type 1 since I was born so how old am I 37 um, so since I was born he's been a type 1 diabetic and I, I asked him I said which fingers do you use um, and I, I only use so I only really use about three fingers, so I'm middle, ring, and pinky. And it sort of started because someone told me that your pointer finger is the most sensitive, okay? And my thumbs, I don't know, I just never use my thumbs. And he goes, he goes, well, that's what I use, but he goes, I use both hands. Don't you do your left hand? And I thought, hmm, I don't. Well, maybe I should, maybe I'll start actually. Because I'm starting to get little calluses, and you can probably, maybe you can see them, I don't know if you can see them. There's my pinky one, and I have one on this finger. See those little red? It's because I do it in the same spots all the time. But um, what you wanna do is use your, I'm gonna call it a pricker, for lack of a better term, on the sides of your fingers. So, um, and, and you probably should switch around more than I do because otherwise you will get these little nice calluses that don't look so pretty, and they, they're not really tender actually, but they're, they don't look pretty. So you wanna use the sides of your finger. There's a little bit more blood flow and there's less sensitivity. So they did tell me when I first became a diabetic not to use straight in the middle of your finger where you would wanna prick because there's more sensitivity and it hurts more. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So sides of the fingers, um, I avoid the pointer. Try it out, see how you like it. And I avoid the thumb. Um, I don't know, I just, I just avoid the thumbs. But again, I'm gonna have to start using my right hand too because this hand, it looks so pretty. Look, there's no calluses, there's no anything on the sides of my fingers. So I'm gonna start doing that. Um, so really, that's all I was gonna talk about today was pricking fingers. If you have any tips or tricks, leave them in the comments. We love tips and tricks. Um, we're always looking for more and you may have more than I have or more than people have told me already. So please um, drop those in the comments. And lastly, if you are looking for any snack ideas on the healthydiabetic.us, we have 11 diabetic friendly grab and go snacks. So those are there for you right now. Grab those, take them with you and start eating healthier and living your healthiest life. Again, Charlie Allred, Healthy Diabetic. I hope you are fabulous. Bye.